Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moji and for those of you guys who are new to my channel, on my channel I basically make video essays and opinion videos and sometimes I make booktube videos. So let's get into this video because I have a lot of things that I wanted to touch on really quickly about the Gen Z generation. So this video I'm basically going to be talking about everything that annoys me about the Gen Z generation. I don't feel like unpopular opinions actually exist because People probably think the same thing that you think, but you're just too afraid to say it. Because so firstly, cancel culture is extremely stupid, and I don't know why that's still a thing. I do not know. Shut up! And if you don't shut up, I'll make sure you lose your job. I hate when people get canceled. I hate the notion of cancel culture. I hate the fact that cancel culture even exists, or that people like say it you're canceled because it doesn't even work people don't actually get canceled when cancel culture is enacted you can't cancel anyone because it never actually works and the only way that we could actually ever cancel someone is if we like completely unfollow them we stop buying their stuff we stop listening to their music we stop watching their movies because it's like you will cancel someone but then you will go and you'll watch their videos you'll cancel someone and then you'll go and you'll listen to their music or you'll buy, you'll buy their merchandise and it's like why would you even like cancel them in the first place if you're not even gonna actually cancel them is that like people don't actually want to cancel people they just feel like an obligation to cancel them because other people are canceling them <music> activism everyone is an activist and i feel like people they just read like one page of wikipedia or they read like one book and they're automatically like super woke and they just know everything about the struggle and i just don't understand it everyone is like an activist these days and especially on tiktok everyone is just super woke i don't hate it like i'm not gonna be like oh stop being an activist but there's something super disingenuous about it because it's like people will not actually put in the effort to change themselves and this is going to go in with allyship which i'm going to talk about after but people will not actually put an effort to change themselves and they'll like read one book and they'll automatically automatically think that they're like the spoke person for some type of woke movement they'll like do stuff that will contradict themselves and then i'm just like what was the point of all of this so a couple of months ago like at the beginning of quarantine this girl was super famous on tiktok her name was emma emma lou emma lou something she i will talk about white allies in a minute actually let me just include activism with white allies she, she was like a white ally for black people for the lgbtqia plus community on um, tiktoks or some videos they surfaced for her saying the n-word and with the hard er like not even like an a she was going in with the er and that just really annoyed me because it's like what was the point of you doing all of this activism on the internet it was clearly just performative activism and it wasn't actually activism because you didn't actually acknowledge your faults and you didn't actually care about black people because you were saying the n-word with an er so it's like it's like a trend to be an activist i don't believe in allyship i don't believe that it's a thing i truly believe that everyone is out to get out for themselves but i truly don't believe that allyship is possible i really don't i don't think it's a thing so whenever i see white allies on the internet i'm just like you're not an ally because if it came down to it you would pick yourself over a minority and i just hate to see it because like especially white allies they put on this like weird like sense of superiority like oh my god i'm such a good person i'm gonna help minorities like oh like i just white feminism white allyship like i'm just like you're not an ally like allyship to me does not exist especially <laughs> people are not actually activists and it's like there's like this weird self-righteous attitude that people put on when they are internet activists and they think that they're better than everyone because they're like better people and i don't like moral like when people put on this like morally superior attitude towards others who have a different opinion than them i feel like it's super weird because it's like you're not better than someone because of your opinion i feel like your actions are something that reflect your sense of who you are like if you are a good person you don't have to like say oh i'm a good person you're just a good person and you do good things but if you're always on the internet and you're activist and you're saying yeah i'm a good person i'm morally superior then it's like it's weird when you see contradictions of you being a bad person because it's like what was the point of like you putting on this morally superior attitude so <laughs> like on tiktok especially is as i said when people put on this morally superior attitude and they like refuse to hear different ideas because of the internet and because of social media it's like a very close 
cut what is the word tight-knit um generation so it's easy to access and like it's easy for clicks to be built and for like this type of mob rule mob mentality to be formed on the internet which can give birth to ignorance and can give birth to people refusing to hear different ideas so i feel like gen z is a very ignorant um generation because <laughs> censorship 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 so people are so quick to censor the in this generation and i just don't see how people don't see the danger of censoring people because like if you censor someone what makes you think that you won't be censored but if you're messing with someone who is in a relationship and they break up with that person and they start dating you what makes you think that they won't cheat on you so that's like my analogy for censorship what if like what makes you th think that one day you won't be censored so censorship i am completely against it i don't believe in censorship i feel like everyone should have a right to say whatever they want to say personally like hate speech these days i feel like with tiktok or with the internet it's so easy for people to say oh that's hate speech because they don't like what you're saying and i remember i made a video a couple of years ago i think it was like three years ago in which i said that hate speech doesn't exist i put it on private because i was watching it and like in that video i didn't actually believe the things that i was saying because i was very indoctrinated at that time and i was just like in a bubble of like indoctrination i was just like it was just rhetoric i was repeating things that i had heard on the internet and i didn't believe everything that i said 100 and i was like i believe everything that i said in that video but at the time that i was filming the video i didn't believe what i was saying so i didn't want to post it again because i just felt like it was just disingenuous of me to like post that one like I didn't believe everything that I was saying in that video at that time, but I do believe it now 100% that hate speech in this generation does not exist because people get so easily offended by things that are said. So it's easy for people to be like, oh my God, what you're saying is hate speech, but it's not actually hate speech. You just don't like what you're hearing. So like this whole like moral superiority thing like virtue signaling it just really annoys me and i like can't stand it like a hundred percent when people think especially when you're like watching tiktoks again i know i re-downloaded tiktok after like four months of having it deleted and i've just been obsessed with it but even in i want to say youtube videos it's really on tiktok so tiktok instagram when people they like express their opinion I don't know it's not really confidence because you can tell when someone is confident but you can you can tell when someone's confident and you can tell when someone is condescending so this whole virtue signaling and this whole moral superiority that people put on when they think that they have the right opinion put on this sense of like virtue or the sense of moral superiority when they have a certain opinion that is considered a better opinion than others and it just really annoys me because it's like you can be humble about your opinions and you can be open to other ideas so <laughs> get very offended easily and i just don't like i feel like certain things are not that deep and certain things like are can easily be ignored so for example there's this there's been this recent rise of super straight which is like a thing that has been on tiktok i haven't watched videos about it i haven't done research about it just because i don't leg legitimize it and i feel like we get offended easily because we legitimize things that could be easily ignored and if we just ignore things that just didn't make any sense then we just wouldn't get offended by them so a lot of people are like offended by super straight but it's like why are you even offended why are you legitimizing this it makes if it makes no sense to you then you don't have to legitimize it and you wouldn't get offended by it so super straight is something that i think it's like guys on tiktok they only date cis women like women biological women who were born women so this is something that a lot of people are getting offended by if you just ignored it it wouldn't be a legitimate group and you wouldn't have to give it as much attention as you're giving it so if no one ever spoke about super straight super straight would be forgotten <laughs> There's like a lot of cyberbullying that goes on on the internet and it's just I remember a long time ago, I think it was Tyler the Creator, that was like, how do you even get bullied on the internet? Just like, log off. And like, it's low-key true, just log off. But like, especially if you're like an influencer and it's like your job to be on the internet, I feel like it's very hard to receive all that hate. Like, because it's like, it's like people that you can't even see. It's like, I would be more offended if someone came up to my face and called me a in person than I would be offended if someone called me a on the internet. On the internet, people are bold, they're bad and brave, but like in real person, like I feel like a lot of people who say things on the internet would not have the balls to say it in person. And I feel like it's just weird how much cyberbullying goes on the on the internet and how easy it is for people to like form hate groups on the internet. And it's just so weird to me that you think that this is an acceptable behavior to have. 
as a human being like you think it's acceptable to hate on people and like it's like you don't see the humanity in others because you dissociate you dehumanize other people and you dissociate yourself from them so it's easy for you to like not see them as human and for you to hate on them and that's like how slavery and like genocides happen because you dehumanize people so on the internet like people dehumanize people and they don't see them as people because they're in these screens that they can watch and they like commodify and they just see them every day and it's like this person doesn't actually exist this person doesn't actually have feelings so it's okay for me to hate on them and it's okay for me to like shit on them every day and it's like it's not okay for you to act that way why do you think it's an acceptable behavior as a human being for you to form hate groups and hate on people why do you think that's okay <laughs> we put people on a pedestal so this happens a lot with um i feel like it's not only a gen z thing but it's also a generational thing and i wanted to like make a video about it but like why do we like allow influencers to become as powerful as they are we have the power to create people we don't but we don't have the power to take that power away we put them on pedestals and we dehumanize them once again and we expect them to act perfect and it's like why do we keep doing this why do we keep forming why do we keep creating celebrities that like disrespect us the royal family this whole Meghan markle thing we like why do we care you know why do i care that Meghan markle her family's racist like don't black people face racism every day like why am i surprised that the family that she married into is racist why am i surprised that the royal family is racist why do i care like don't i have a life so i feel <laughs> so pretty privilege has been around for Ever, but pretty privilege is a lot more prominent today because of social media. I feel like it's weird that like people can just get famous for being attractive, and it's like pretty privilege and the emphasis that's placed on looks. It's really sad because it's like it's hard for people to just be themselves and be who they want to be because they have to be like pretty or you have they have to look a certain way to be accepted by society and it's just really annoying because it's like why can't i just be an individual and live my life like why do i have to be attractive can i just be okay <laughs> fandoms like why is that even a thing like, the level of importance that is given to celebrities and influencers like why do we even care like what they ate for dinner like why do i care what you ate like why do i care where you're going for dinner why do i care who you're hanging out with why do i care who you're dating anyways that was basically my video on everything that annoys me about gen z i tried to talk fast so i could get all my points as fast as possible maybe a couple of them were a bit controversial besides that gen z i feel like we're pretty cool we have a lot of jokes we're really funny we're disrespectful and i'm okay with it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to be, make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs>